For decades, one people's story has been obscured, relegated to a footnote in a narrative authored by someone else. It is the story of Palestine. The story of Palestine, whose people have been pushed to the periphery, just out of sight and out of mind. For too long, Palestinians have been dehumanized and discredited, turned into a people unto whom anything can be done without consequence. In the wake of the war in Gaza, many of us have seen our social media landscapes redrawn. The colorful feeds on our phones have given way to monochrome, white shrouds, gray rubble, and black and white screens warning of sensitive content ahead. I sometimes hesitate to reveal what is behind the warning screen because after more than 140 days of war, I know what awaits. A harrowing snapshot of life and death in what has become the most miserable place on earth. Babies covered in searing burns children with bloody bandages where limbs should be, mothers peeling back shrouds to kiss angelic faces goodbye. Scrolling through these images of a merciless war, I find myself thinking, it can't get any worse. And then, it does. The bar for humanity keeps falling to new lows. Actions that were once unthinkable are now commonplace. Hospitals under fire, Houses of worship destroyed, civilians killed with white flags in hand. How can we possibly make sense of that? We need a ceasefire, a cease to the destruction. A cease to the destruction, a cease to the displacement, a cease to the deprivation by design. This war must end now. The inhumane obstruction of aid delivery must end, and the hostages and det detainees on both sides must go home. But that is only the beginning. Ultimately, Palestinians want what most of us take for granted, the right to self-determination, the ability to govern their own lives in dignity and security, freedom from occupation. These things are only possible through the establishment of a sovereign Palestinian state living side by side in peace with Israel. We must insist on a world where peace, dignity, and freedom are inevitable for you, for us, for the people of Palestine. Because their story is part of our story. And in showing up for them, we are showing up for ourselves. Thank you all very much.